Hey guys, welcome to Number One Reviews. I'm the Worm. This is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing just a quick little review. So it's going to be intro, down, close, and then a little outro. Uh, it's just a little kind of nice thing to have. This one um, we did receive a free of charge from Angel6.com. Um, but yeah, there you go. What we're doing today. It's a white box. Um, what it is in there is an ohmmeter or an atomized resistance tester, as they've got it listed on the site. Um, it's, it's, we've seen them, all right? We're just making you aware of it because it's a good price and whatever else. So, price, I suppose, $12.54 or £7.47 if you're in the UK, uh, and about 10 euros out right there and thereabouts, um, with free worldwide shipping. So that's important, I think, free shipping. Um, yeah, so that's nice and cheap. So what we're going to do is just show you it real quick, come over to us and do a quick flap redo then. Right guys, very quick one, no real need to go into massive detail. Um, this is what we received it in, okay, so we're going to open it up, just a box. Um, and then slide it open, this is what you're going to get. Um, so first of all, I suppose, what you've got is 510 and Ego threading now. Um, that's actually 808 threading. Um, a quite sort of simplish LED screen just there. On and off, fairly good stuff. Um, and then go around into here, slide the back off. Couple of cheap pound the shop double A batteries in now, and obviously you've got all this sort of epoxy holding all in place. Um, there's no USB option or anything on this one, um, but then there's no need for it to be on shelf. I'm not entirely sure what that hole is there. Maybe it's venting. Um, it's just it's, it's fairly simple to be fair. Let me see if I can just pop the battery out. All that, all that stuff, these are, these are standard 9 volts. I did try, a lot of these run on 14500 batteries that we've heard of. Um, and I did try 14500s, they won't power it, so it doesn't need, it needs the 9 volts um, from the standard double A's. Clips on there, fairly nice. I mean, what more can you say? You can have a look at it if you want. There you go. Um, not recyclable. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's nice to have. I would rather have this than sort of be using a mod just because it's more accurate. I mean, I've been building some silly builds recently, and it's fairly simple to do. All you do is just flick it on. Come up with your lines, screw it down to it makes a connection, and then it will read. Uh, I don't know if you can see what that says there, it says 0.22. Um, so I built the other day. Um, I have actually used a friend's one of these, and his is going to be a bit temperamental where you sort of screw something on and then you have to back it off to get a true reading because otherwise it goes, to, it reads lower than what it actually says. This one I haven't had an issue with, you just sort of chuck anything on and it will read it. It's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look. There we go. Okay, fun, 0.97. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much a hash over. There's not really much more you can say about it. It's just an 808 connection and a 510 Ego connection. But if you're a builder, um, as in a rebuilder, not a uh, manual worker, um, it's probably spot on, to be fair. I mean, it's a lot more accurate. Um, and if you're going to be doing sort of cloud chasing and seriously low ohms and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, you want it really, didn't you? Let's be fair. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. It's just a quick up and close. Come back up to us for a very quick flap. Alright guys, that was the up close of the Ohms Tester, Ohms Reader, whichever you call it. A um, few particulars about this one, on off switch. <laughs> on off switch. It does say, well, obviously on off switch, as you see in the close up. Um, it does say reads from 0 0.01 to 9.9 .9 ohms, so no matter what you're wrapping this will read it. It's accurate to 0.4%. 0.4%, so I mean that's fairly accurate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be close enough for you to be known whether you're safe or not, especially for the low ohm builds and that. I mean, to be honest, with, with the other ohms, I mean like above 0 0.6, I mean as long as you're on a 30 amp battery, you're, you're well in safe mode. So, you know, it's just so you've got peace of mind of so you know what it is really. There you go. I mean, there's not a lot we can say about this guys, we're just, we've seen these for sale in the UK, 20 quid, um, and we thought, you know, Angel, Angel actually sent it as through by mistake, meant to be a Prometheus clone. Um, we've got this, it's kind of like, I'm not sad about that actually, to be honest with you. Um, the screen itself, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly cheaply made, to be honest with you. The, the screen cut out's not bad, the screen's in there slightly leaning, um, but it does exactly what it needs to do, and that's all I care about, to be honest with you. It's, um, it's doing the job it's made for, it's hard plastic. It's not something you're putting under fucking um, massive kind of <laughs> no, stress or strain, is it? I mean, you put two AA batteries in, doesn't come with it, by the way, so you've got to buy these, like, say, we got some cheap pound now, ones. Um, and yeah, I mean, you wrap a build, stick it on the tester, see what it is, and sink it in the mud and puff away. I mean, that's exactly what it says on the tin. Plus, the added bonus is this one's got an 808 as well. So, whether you've got 808 and 510 or one or the other, and you're thinking to look at the other stuff, this one does for everything. So, it's kind of got everything on this one, whereas a lot of them have just got 
uh, two five tens, one was with ego and one without. So there you go. I mean, this this again, there ain't much we can say about this, guys. But if you're after one, seven pound fifty shipped. I think it's reasonable. I haven't used ones from Fast Tech, so I can't speak for them. Um, but I can say that this one's definitely worth 750. Um, I mean, we we both use mods to register our resistance. It's in nowhere near as accurate as this. You know, I mean, the provider's close, isn't it? Yeah. You know, but it's it's not. It just it's made for the job. You know, it's nice to have something that's dedicated for it. It sits there, and that's all it does. Um, and to 0.04 percent. That's only going to come to play if you're trying to literally push your batteries up to the exact limit. Other than that. You, you know if you've got a short and whatever else and sometimes it's nice to just if you're using cartos you can measure the distance your cartos see if they're coming out true as they're supposed to so yeah handy little gadget guys just went to make you aware of it um big thank you to angel at angelsigs.com which will be down here and somewhere over there um if you want to go and check them out it was some nice gear on now um and thank you guys for watching i've been mr proton been the worm shall see you soon